Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me once again on this wonderful world of cyber entertainment. Um, well, this video is going to be all about my OTG cable and whether I was getting video breakup, video lag and whether it was actually worth me going and getting it. Um, and by the way, yes it was. Um, I took this footage a couple of weeks ago uh, because I haven't been able to do any flying this week because of this. Uh, yuck. See, windy, who's going to be taking off in that? Not me, otherwise my Sparky would be going bye-bye. Anyway, here's the footage. It didn't go quite to plan. I nearly had to go traipsing through someone's paddock to go and find this thing. And uh, to be honest, that's why I bought a drone in the first place, so I could go check stuff out that I couldn't be bothered walking to. Um, and the last thing I wanted to be doing was traipsing through this paddock, trying to find this spark. Uh, so anyway, here's the footage. Hit like and subscribe if you want it. That would be absolutely awesome. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Take off. Okay, so here we are. I have just taken off, obviously. Uh, I've set my home point, so uh, that's always a great thing to do before you uh, actually uh, fling it out anywhere. Uh, so here I go, I'm going to chuck it right out there. Now I've got my uh, max distance set to 2,000 meters. Um, now I don't usually fly this far uh, at all, uh, so uh, this is just a bit of an experiment here for the OTG cable that I'm using for my video feed. Um, so I was at around about seven or 800 meters getting video breakup and uh, video signal loss. And obviously then you get your return to home option, uh, which um, I really didn't want to do at the time. But uh, having that restriction there at the around about the 700 meter mark was a real pain in the butt. Um, so anyway, I've got the OTG, so I'm going to check this one out. Uh, as I said, it's taken out to around about uh, 2,000 meters. Uh, now I've got here 89% battery, I've got good Wi-Fi signal, 5.8 gig, I've got 12 uh, satellites, uh, so everything looks absolutely fine at this point, and uh, it's running all nice and smooth. Um, I'm actually enjoying this part at the moment because it's, uh, you know, quite a nice view from up there. Um, and as I said, I'm going to be taking this out. It's keeping good speed here, around about uh, 48 there at the moment. Gets up to around about 50. Now, I know that on my way home, I'm going to have a slight headwind. Uh, now, that slight headwind can make the difference uh, anywhere between 10 and 20 kilometres an hour of your travel time, um, of your travel speed. So, um, I'm uh, allowing for that. Uh, and hence the uh, the restricted uh, flight distance anyway, but I wouldn't want to fly much more than that anyway. As I said, it's uh, 2,000 metres, that, that's ample. I never fly that far anyway, so this is just giving me a good example and a good idea of what the OTG is capable of. And here we're coming up now, up to nearly 1.5 kilometres. Now this is uh, pretty good. Uh, there's, no, there's obviously a little bit of Wi-Fi lag, you're going to get that. But there's no signal loss. There's no video signal loss, um, and obviously no uh, loss to the uh, remote. Okay, so everything is looking nice here. We've got 77% battery. Uh, we're coming up to 1,800 meters, nearly 2,000. Uh, Wi-Fi signal's good. I've got 16, 17 uh, GPS up there, still in sports mode, hammering out there at 47 kilometres an hour. Uh, and I've only got about another 100 metres and I'll be turning this baby home. So here we go, coming up here and we're going to come to a stop. On 76% battery, uh, I'm thinking that is fantastic. It hasn't used much to get out there at all. And as I said, I'm going to have a bit of a headwind. Uh, so I turn it around and I start uh, mucking about a little bit here with the exposure. Um, I should have just punched it back to be honest, but uh, I didn't know that at the time. But as I said, I had 76% battery there. Now, if you look when I get out of this mode here and I go back into um, uh, into the uh, uh, the screen mode there, 76. As soon as I as soon as I punch it out and start coming back, you watch what the uh, watch what the battery power does. 76. Here I go, starting to move. And it goes bang down to 69. What? I don't know what the hell that was. And that was weird. But anyway, I didn't notice that at the time. I only noticed that when I was watching it on the uh, when I was watching the replay. Now, as you can see here, I'm down to 25, 26, 27 kilometres an hour, and it starts to do a little bit of stupid stuff here. But I've still got 67%, so I'm thinking I've got plenty of power. So I'm just full stick forward, and it starts flipping again. It's going left. 
and then it start and it starts freaking out and it's almost turning around to go back to where it come from now I don't know why this is I have a feeling it's got something to do with the wind because uh, in my previous videos on my channel I have got a video of this uh, little fella doing some crazy stuff um, and it's uh, no different today so I'm kind of hoping, here we go, 1700 metres, that um, I'm going to be able to, uh, you know, it's going to start behaving itself and it's going to make it back. Um, it has dropped, see, 22, 23 uh, kilometres an hour, down to 67, still thinking I'm okay. Everything else looks alright, I'm still getting this video feed that I need. Uh, so actually, point number one, OTG, go get one if you haven't, because uh, they're well worth it. Um, and this, here we go again, uh, still coming back and it starts to do some more crazy stuff um, which is obviously eating up my battery power here we go again I don't know why it's doing this I might have another test chuck it out in this same spot here and put it in automatic return to home to see if that makes a difference to see if it stops freaking out on stuff now I know it may be an environmental thing uh, it may be the fact that the wind gusts are all over the joint because it was a little windy um, and within valleys like this the winds can do some crazy stuff obviously you can't see that but this is starting to worry me because I'm now obviously down there to 48% 47% everything else is looking fine my Wi-Fi signals coming in nicely um, and I'm trying to line it up now when you're in sports mode and you're giving it left stick your left and right it's gonna really flip out and it's gonna go real hard so I was just doing very slight movements to try and straighten it up um, you can just see my car there uh, just to, oh, about oh, three quarters of the line there little white dot here we go again it's flipping out to the left man it's starting to get to me. Um, I won't actually play you the audio that came with this uh, thing because it's a G-rated, uh, G-rated show, and um, yeah, it's not appropriate. <laughs> so here we go again. We're coming in. As I said, I've lost this speed here, but that doesn't matter. I've got plenty of time to get it back if it behaved itself and if it went in a straight line back to me, there wouldn't be an issue at all most of the time here using up all this battery is me trying to straighten it back up to get it back to where it, here we go again look crazy stuff I don't know what's going on there I don't know if anyone's had any problems like this before I haven't seen anything on it on on YouTube anyone's tutorials on it or anything like that this is this is like the third time it's happened to me and uh, to be honest I really didn't need it to happen today because this uh, although it's not over water and I'm not going to lose it you know I've got to start traipsing through someone's paddock and as I said before I really don't want to be doing that okay so here we come down here we go return to home that's always what you want to see when you're you know 850 odd meters away uh, down to 30 percent uh, I don't know if you noticed earlier though but when I st first started getting the turbulence and what have you I, I dropped the altitude from 50 odd meters down to this uh, 28 to try and get out of the winds and trying to see if uh, that would make much of a difference uh, which obviously um, looking at this it really hasn't but now we are down to 25 percent and the spark look at it it's still stuffing around uh, at this point I'm thinking I might be in a little bit of trouble here because uh, we've still got 700 odd meters to go now if it wasn't mucking around then there would be ample battery to get back if it was traveling in a straight line but as you can see I'm actually not traveling in a straight line I'm ha actually heading away from myself and if you look down the bottom left hand corner there the little red um, paper airplane that's my drone I'm going over my point of uh, traveling out there green line is showing me actually where I'm going or where the home point is and I'll just realize that in a minute now as I said in sports mode uh, the yaw is very very touchy so you got to really um, you got to really watch that now I see myself here now so everything's fine now, I'm hoping the hell that it's just gonna behave itself and I can get it back 16 percent plenty in 400 odd meters um, but it didn't behave itself and it started to stuff around again here we go uh, look at that yeah here we go oh what's over there oh look at this jeez I tell you um, 
I started to get a little bit there. Look at that, jeez. Um, I started to get a bit, bit concerned here that it wasn't actually going to come back. So I'm down to 13% now, down to 12. Um, and uh, I'm trying to line it up to bring it back. And it keeps flipping out and going over landing. to the left. Um, and here we go. It's Critically going low battery. automatic landing. Now I'm thinking, oh, well, it's going to land in the paddock here. I'll just jump the fence and go get it. Uh, but actually, you lose a lot of forward momentum when it goes into auto landing. So I'm down to 12, 12 kilometers an hour here. Uh, and I'm thinking, oh, I hope the grass isn't too long. I'm damaged my props or whatever. But then I remembered actually in one of these tutorials that I uh, that I was watching that you you can actually throttle them up. Uh, so I uh, give me uh, my left stick, give it a bit of a boot, and uh, and bring it up again. Uh, in a second. When I, when I just realised I could actually do it. Here we go. Up we go. Now I'm down to 4%. You know, at this stage, it's not a critical thing. Um, either or either, I'm going over the fence to get it. But it's looking like I won't have to do that. Um, down to 2%. Uh, coming in. Over we go here. And it's actually on 0% now. Zero. Zero power. Uh, and I landed in my hand. Goodness me. Was that a trip and a half? Um, very, uh, very strange actually, not to not to have uh, the control that I that I wanted to. But uh, anyway, that's that. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and um, I'll have plenty more coming up uh, when I can actually start flying again when the wind dies down. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Ciao.